Hey guys, so what's up? Um, the first thing you'll notice is that I have my face down there, which is obviously not my face. It's um, it's my face with a filter. I'm not really a fan of showing uh, my real face in public, but um, today I wanted to do a reaction video, and it kind of not doesn't make sense to not have my face um, on a reaction video. So, but you know, it's not my real face, so I don't know how it's gonna go. Anyway. So I've been playing this game called Counterside um, when it was released in Korea. And I played it for about a month and a half. And then when I was playing it, I was just, you know, trying to Google Translate everything. And it wasn't a good experience. And so I think a few months ago, it released a, an English version um, for uh, Southeast Asia. And I haven't really tried that, although I really should have. Uh, the game is cool. It has like great animations. It has like some cool character designs. But this is the first time I'm trying out the um, SEA version. And this is the first time that I'm going to be seeing the game in English. And when I first and when I opened it, um, I noticed that there was a track playing and it was kind of in English, but I couldn't understand what it was saying. So I googled the song and I think I found it here and it has uh, supposed to have the lyrics. So that's the first thing I'm going to react to and then um, after that I saw that on the comments there is another version of this song, like a newer version so I'm going to react to that as well. And then I'm going to open the game up and then uh, you know, um, try to experience the game with English uh, subtitles. I don't know if it's going to be subtitles or voice acting I don't know okay uh, so here goes this is the um, opening song for the game in uh, with English subtitles Okay, so I need to pause it there because um... <laughs> I I <laughs> I thought I was gonna. <laughs> I was gonna understand the the song better with the, with the English <laughs> subtitles on. But, but you know. hey, hey, it's a great it's, it's a great beat. It's a great melody. It's um obviously it, it's like a rock anthem type of song, right? And it's it's meant to. <laughs> I'm gonna have to cut the, this video up, but it, it's it's meant to uh, evoke some feelings of you know it's it's an anthem song like it's 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 supposed to evoke some like um feelings of of grandeur and uh, um you know motivate you to rise up and you know I don't know 
do something so yeah i mean it's a it's a great melody for that type of thing like it's a, so it's it's a great opening song right it it makes you feel excited for the game like oh um and the lyrics um um <laughs> like even the title the title is life begins is gone i'm not sure if that's supposed to be like something like deep that <laughs> you have to you know and I, I just i'm not uh, understanding right now but you know typically like i've done like i'm not i'm not trying to poke fun of the the, the writers of the song don't get me wrong like i've i'm a musician myself i've tried to write songs in different languages um when i was younger and the thing is it's just not going to be like you are going to tr write it in your native language right in your mind like in your mind it's going to be in your native language and then you are going to try and translate that into a different language that's typically what happens and you know it's it you don't get to like sometimes you get to um communicate the, the basic idea of the song but you don't really get to that level wherein you are in command of the language enough to make it sound poetic and you know deep and um as deep as it is in your mind right so this can be like something really deep like life begins is gone like in the native language it was like in in the mind of the author that can mean something totally you know different and it's just that he, um, he or she couldn't um, put into words the right ideas to communicate um so there but yeah it's so far it's great uh, it sounds great um just gonna play it again sorry <laughs> that was a long pause I i'm gonna play it again and then listen to maybe Okay, so I need to pause it there. You know, I want to say something like these electronic um, sounds where they um, make the, the the beat stutter. These are really cool. I mean, these sound really cool. Um, it's obviously like the way it's meant to sound is it's meant to sound like it's a uh, it's a real you know rock band like playing analog music, right? but this they're trying to mix in these electronic effects and it sounds really cool it's what really well made i re I really like it um the production quality on this piece of music is i would say like an eight out of ten 
which is really good. And this part, this part where they, you know, it comes like, whoa, the, the chorus of the people singing in the background. Um, this is very typical of like an anthem song. Like it ends with that, right? Where there's this sound of the chorus of people um, singing in the background, this kind of, you know, chant. And it's really, uh, it's really cool. That was really nice. I would rate that like as a song around an 8 out of 10. Really, I mean, it's surprising that it's in a it's in a mobile game. Very cool. And so I want to listen to the other version, the new version. I saw it somewhere in the comments. And I'm not sure if this is going to be like a full new video or just the same video, but here it is. New version, life begins is gone. So I want to listen to this one also. Just compare that. Had to choose your soul, even if there's no way to go. But I want to say, I may stay back in your shadow. Okay, so immediately this one. The, the pronunciation on this one sounds a lot clearer and I can sort of understand what the girl is saying. Like it doesn't necessarily mean that the sentences are, you know, understandable and coherent, but I really, you know, it's, I, at least I can understand the words better. Okay, even the fails in this version, this is sound this is more like a pop song, right? This um power pop wherein it's not like a pop song that's um meant to be like a um, love song or anything, like a cute pop song. It's like more of a power pop song uh power pop song. Is that what it's called though? Power pop. It goes away. Okay, sorry. So just that part, the together together part, I liked it in the previous version more just because um, it had, it didn't cut off the, so on, on this version, it, it sort of cut off the 
the mid range, the the you know the you know, and the in the previous version it was really heavy that part, and it was really building up to the chorus which is now. So on this version, it's like um they did something like they cut the they cut some of the instruments and then they left a lot of the vocals there to try and carry it to the to the chorus. So I'm just gonna press back on that a bit and then listen to it again. In terms of the vocals, like it's, I don't really prefer. Um, maybe I slightly prefer the the male vocals, just in terms of the vocal quality. Um, but the female vocals, um, <clears throat> uh, it's it's much clearer than the male vocals. But in terms of like just quality, I think I prefer the male vocals. On this part, it's it's going to be like a. Um, That that part is um, very Western. It's sometimes we believe we want it was an illusion. The real we came was cool and this way. I like that. Yeah, so that one is less of an anthem, like rock anthem type of song. It's more like a like a pop song, and it's really nice. Um, on this, what's really nice on this version is the um, the use of the it's it has a cleaner guitar uh, sound, so they can do like the solos and the riffs, and you can hear it much cleaner. And yeah, I mean. Subscribe to this guy, Wingdale TV, or just check him out. That's where I got the, the songs from. And um, yeah, let's get into the game. <laughs> 